Now that we've reached the end of the traditional football calendar, champions are being crowned all over Europe. That's why in this video we're revealing the champions of every top flight UEFA league alphabetically for the 2023-24 season. I'm thinking about doing a similar video for the world's other continental football associations, so if you want to see a similar video for the AFC, CAF, Comaball, or CONCACAF, let me know in the comments below. Not every top flight league in Europe has a season that follows the traditional fall football calendar, so some countries won't be mentioned in this video. If your favorite league isn't mentioned, that's probably why. As always, if you're enjoying this content, make sure to give us a like and subscribe to the channel. We recently surpassed 700 subscribers, so thank you so much for the support. Without further ado, here is every UEFA Top Flight League winner for the 2023-24 season. One of the year's closest title races occurred in Albania's Categoria Superior this season, as Ignatia and Partizani finished the season tied on points with 63 each. The title would be decided in a single-game Final Four tournament, standard for that league, which saw those two teams square off in the final. In the end, Ignatia's Austrian midfielder, Mili Ibrahimolo, scored a goal in the 35th minute that would turn out to be the game winner, and the team lifted its first ever top flight championship. A first ever league title was won in Andorra's Primera Divisio this season by UE Santa Coloma. Established in 1986 and sharing a very similar name to the country's most successful club, FC Santa Coloma, UE Santa Coloma finished the season with 66 points and just a single loss. Armenia was close to having a first-time champion as well. With two games to go, FC Noah was leading the country's most decorated club, FC Punic, by a point with the two clubs facing off against each other on match day 35. Unfortunately for Noah, they lost 3-0 and ended the season two points behind Punic, whose title was the club's 16th in its history. Red Bull Salzburg's domination of the Austrian Bundesliga ended this year thanks to the late-season heroics of SK Sturm Graz. After losing to Salzburg 1-0 in the second game of the Bundesliga Championship group, in which three red cards were shown, Sturm Graz didn't lose another game all season and ended two points ahead of Salzburg. The title is Sturm Graz's fourth in its history, their first since 2010-11. Before the season, Red Bull Salzburg had won 10 league titles in a row. Karabag FK was one of the first teams in Europe to celebrate a championship this season, running away with the Azerbaijani Premier League title by a margin of 25 points over second place Zira. The feat was not unexpected though, as Karabag has now won three titles in a row, and have won the most Azerbaijani Premier League titles with 11 since the league was formed in 1992. This year's Jupiler Pro League was won by Club Bruges, who clinched the league title by a single point over Royal Union saint gilles This is Club Bruges' 19th title, and its fourth in five seasons. After finishing runners-up last season, Barak Banja Luka claimed its third WWIN Liga title by finishing the season two points ahead of Zinski Mostar, Bosnia and Herzegovina's top club historically. In what has become the easiest bet in European football, Ludogorets Razgrad clinched its 13th Parva Liga title in a row this season, finishing the season seven points ahead of second place Cherno Mor, with a goal differential of 63. Unsurprisingly, their title streak is currently the longest standing in Europe. Another league without much parity is Croatia's Super Sport HNL, where Dinamo Zagreb claimed their 7th title in a row and their 25th in its history, the most all-time in Croatian football. In another incredibly tight title race, Apoel drew with 2nd place AEK Larnaca on the last match day of the season to win their 29th Cypriot 1st Division title and their first since 2018-19. While both Apoel and AEK Larnaca finished the season with 73 points, Apoel's goal differential was 13 points better, giving them the advantage in the tie. 
If AEK had won the title, it would have been their first all-time. It's only fitting that the Czech Republic's Fortuna Liga came down to Prague Derby rivals Sparta Prague and Slavia Prague. When all was said and done, however, Sparta ended up two points ahead of its crosstown rivals to capture their 14th league title and their second in a row. The Danish Superliga was one of Europe's most exciting leagues to watch this year, as just five points separated the top four teams in the championship group. On its last match day, FC Michelin secured a vital point to edge one point ahead of Bronby to win its fourth league title. Another league that was decided on the final match day was the Premier League. Manchester City's 3-1 victory over West Ham United was enough to earn them their fourth league title in a row. Pep Guardiola's men ended the season with 91 points thanks to 28 victories and only three losses. Their top goal scorer, Erling Holland, led the Premier League with 27 goals. For the 10th time in 12 years, Paris Saint-Germain, also known as PSG, were crowned champions of Ligue 1. Their title-winning season was helped out by a league-high 27 goals scored by striker Kylian Mbappe. Perhaps the most impressive feat of the year happened in Germany, where Bayer Leverkusen rolled to an undefeated season to achieve their first Bundesliga title. It was also the first time in Bundesliga history where a team went undefeated through the regular season. Led by head coach Xavi Alonso, the team finished with 28 wins, 6 draws, and 90 points. Like Cyprus, England, and Denmark, Gibraltar's Football League was decided on the last match day of the season. Unlike those leagues, the top two teams in Gibraltar faced off against each other. The Lincoln Red Imps and St. Joseph's ended up tying 1-1, giving the Red Imps their 28th title of all time, and technically their sixth in a row, not counting a pause in Gibraltar club football during the 2019-20 season. A win for St. Joseph's would have given the club their second title of all time, and their first since 1995-96. Another league that was won on the final match day was the Greek Super League. After a few changes at the top of the championship group table, Pauk was eventually crowned champions over rivals AEK Athens. They finished the season with 80 points and 25 wins. This is the club's fourth title and their first since 2019. For the sixth time in a row, Hungary's OTP Bank Liga was won by Ferenc Varos, the country's most dominant team. With 35 league titles all time, Ferenc Varos wrapped up the championship with about a month to go in the season, ending the year 16 points ahead of second place PAX. Israel's most successful team added another trophy to its trophy case this year. Maccabi Tel Aviv finished the Israeli Premier League season with 85 points off 26 wins, 11 points better than second place Maccabi Haifa. The team's 25th title can be partially credited to co-leading scorer of the league, Aaron Zahavi, who netted 20 goals in 35 games. Italy's Serie A season was dominated by the only team to have played in the league every year since its restructuring in 1929, Inter Milan. Led by league top scorer Lataro Martinez, Inter ended the season with just two losses and have claimed their second title in four years. This is Inter's 20th Serie A title overall. For the third year in a row, the Super League of Kosovo was won by FC Balkani, who lost only four games on their way to a 78-point campaign. While Liechtenstein is the only country in Europe without a domestic football league, they do have the Liechtenstein Football Cup, a single-leg knockout competition between 17 teams, 10 of which are reserve teams. The country's only professional team, FC Vaduz, has dominated this cup competition, including the capture of this year's cup, the 50th title in its history. The team currently plays league football in Switzerland's second division, the Swiss Challenge League. Luxembourg's top flight, the BGL League, was won this year by FC Differdange 03. 
Their first title since forming in 2003 and merging with FA Red Boys de Verdange. The team only lost two games all season thanks in part to the league's best defense, only allowing 23 goals and 70 goals scored, 25 of them coming from the boot of Portuguese striker Jorginho. One of the first European leagues to end this season was the Maltese Premier League, which played their final match on May 4th. Its winner was the Ham Run Spartans, who secured 62 points this season thanks to 19 wins, only 2 losses, and 21 goals from the league's top goal scorer, Luke Montebello. This is the team's second league title in a row, and its 10th all-time. The Moldovan Superliga has been dominated in recent years by Sheriff Tiraspol, who before this year had won eight league titles in a row. However, this season's title was hoisted by Petroklub Frinchechti, their first championship in club history. A first-time champion was also crowned in Montenegro. FK Dutch Cheech finished atop the Montenegrin First League for the first time in their 98-year history, after a 70-point season with 20 wins and only 6 losses. In a dramatic Eredivisie season which saw the dramatic fall of Ajax, the league's second most dominant club historically, PSV Eindhoven, ran away with the league title thanks to 29 wins, 91 points, and just one loss. This is PSV's first league win since 2017-18 and their 25th all-time. For those of you keeping up with North Macedonian football, it was quite an exciting season in the 1MFL. As a matter of fact, two teams ended the season tied for first place with 64 points. However, the league was decided on head-to-head -head points, giving FC Struga a 6-3 advantage over KF Shkendia. This was Struga's second title ever and their second in a row. For the second season in a row, Larn FC raised the NIFL Premiership Trophy, winning the league by five points and losing just two games. Their success can be credited in part to the league's top scorer, Andy Ryan, who netted 25 goals this season. Poland's top flight, the Extra Klasa, provided one of Europe's most dramatic finishes this season. After 34 games, Jaglionia and Schlons Grosław finished tied on points, both with 63. The winner decided on head-to-head -head goal differential was Jaglionia, who bested Schlons Grosław by a single goal. The title was the club's first ever in its 103-year history. In a league dominated by three teams, the historic bridesmaid of the three, Sporting CP from Lisbon, raised the Premier League title this season for the 20th time in their history, and the second time in four years. Helping lead them to victory was the league's top scorer, Victor Giocares. The Swede netted 29 goals in 33 matches. While it has been nearly a decade since Bucharest-based FCSB won Romania's League One, the country's all-time top club were once again crowned champions this season. The club has now won 27 league titles. I'm not sure how many people are watching the Russian Premier League these days, but politics aside, it was quite an exciting season in the RPL. Zenit St. Petersburg were crowned champions for the sixth year in a row, beating out Krasnodar in Dynamo Moscow by a single point. Zenit's Colombian striker, Mateo Casiera, led the league in scoring with 21 goals. A first ever league title was captured in San Marino's top flight by A.S. Virtas, who clinched the Campeonato San Marinese de Calcio title by two points over La Fiorita. Celtic did the double this year, winning both the Scottish Premiership and the Scottish Cup over their old firm rivals, Rangers. The team from Glasgow's east side racked up 93 points on their way to a third league title in a row and their 54th in club history. For the seventh season in a row, Red Star Belgrade was crowned champions of the Serbian Superliga. They finished the season with 96 points, 31 wins, and only three losses. 
Red Star's most recent championship is their 35th all-time, making them the winningest team in Serbian football history. Almost as dominant as Red Star are Slovan Bratislava, who were crowned champions of Slovakia's Nike Liga for the sixth time in a row. The team ended the season with 73 points, 15 points ahead of second place FC DAC 1904. Slovan Bratislava remains Slovakia's most dominant team in history with 30 league wins. Unlike Serbia and Slovakia, there is much more parity in Slovenian football. The country's top flight league, the Parva Liga, was won this year by Selje, who recorded 24 wins and 79 points during their 36-game campaign. This is only the club's second league title, having won their first during the 2019-20 season. Real Madrid had quite the season. Not only did they win their 36th La Liga title this year, beating rivals Barcelona and skyrocketing newcomers Girona by 10 and 14 points respectively, but they also beat Borussia Dortmund in the Champions League final, claiming their 15th title in that competition, by far the most all-time. For the second year in a row, young boys were crowned Swiss Super League champions, gaining 77 points on their way to the club's 17th title. On the last day of the Super League season, Turkey's most decorated club were crowned champions once again, their second title in a row and their 24th overall. Ending the season with 102 points in total, Galatasaray lost just two games, 133 of them, and their star striker, Mauro Icardi, led the league with 25 goals in 34 games. Like in Turkey, a familiar face ended the season at the top of the Ukrainian Premier League table, Shakhtar Donetsk. The club recorded 71 points over 30 games, including just three losses on the year, good enough for their third league title in a row and their 15th all-time. Did you know that Bayer Leverkusen wasn't the only undefeated team in Europe this year? The other team to achieve that feat was Welsh side TNS, also known as the New Saints. Representing the border towns of Schlantasfried, Wales, in Oswestry, England, the New Saints won 30 games and drew only two during their undefeated Kirmu Premier season. The team ended the season 33 points ahead of second place Kona's Quay Nomads and achieved a 99 goal differential for the year. Now that is domination. What a season it's been for UEFA football. To recap, of UEFA's 42 top flight leagues that recently ended their 2023-24 season, we saw two teams go undefeated, eight first time winners in Albania, Andorra, Germany, Luxembourg, Moldova, Montenegro, Poland, and San Marino, we also saw 20 back-to-back -back title winners in Azerbaijan, Bulgaria, Croatia, Czech Republic, England, France, Gibraltar, Hungary, Kosovo, Malta, North Macedonia, Northern Ireland, Russia, Scotland, Serbia, Slovakia, Switzerland, Turkey, Ukraine, and Wales. As always, thanks for watching. And if you're enjoying the channel, make sure to give this video a like, subscribe, and leave us a comment. We will see you next season.